Hello Rackstars, welcome to this new video tutorial. Today I will show you how you can connect your Wizgate Edge version 2 to the Chirpstack V3 LNS using MQTT. In this tutorial, you will need to have a Chirpstack V3 installed on a local network or cloud machine and have your Wizgate Edge version 2 on hand. With this done, let's get started. Enter Wizgate OS 2 using its web UI and log in with your credentials. From the main menu bar, navigate to the second option LoRa and set the work mode to packet forwarder in the configuration tab. Scroll down until you find the protocol section and click choose from the available protocols. Select the LARA Gateway MQTT bridge and leave the statistical interval as it is. In the LARA Gateway MQTT bridge parameters, click the MQTT protocol dropdown. Select MQTT for Chirpstack 3.x. In MQTT broker address, put the IP address or domain name where Chirpstack is installed. In this case, it is installed on a local network machine with the IP number 10.2.13.92. The default port is 1883. In the previous step, take into account the configuration of your chirp stack because according to this, you will be able to select the most suitable option for your installation, MQTT for Chirpstack 3.x JSON or MQTT for Chirpstack 3.x Protobuf. There is no need to change anything. Just scroll down and click on the Save Changes button and you will see a configuration message when all the changes have been applied. To add the gateways, access the Chirpstack web user. Type in the address bar of your browser the IP address or domain name, and the port where Chirpstack was installed. In this case, it is installed on a local machine with IP 10.2.13.92 and port 8080. Log into the control panel by typing your username and password. You will see the main panel of Chirpstack. In the menu on the left, select Gateways. On the Gateways page, click on the Create button located on the top right. In the General section, type the name you want to give the gateway and add a description. To get the gateway ID, Go back to the Wizgate OS control panel and copy the EUI number located in the overview tab in the first option on the left panel. Return to the Chirpstack page and paste the EUI number into the gateway ID field. In the network server and server profiles field, select the details of the server where you want to add the gateways. If you haven't created one yet, you can do so by going to the network server option on the left panel. You also have the option to set the altitude and location of the gateway and click the Create Gateway option. Refresh the page to get new data in the Last Seen column. Now click on the name that you've previously assigned to the gateway. Here you will find the last scene of the gateway indicating that the connection has been made. In this tutorial, you just learned how easy it is to connect your Wizgate Edge version 2 gateways to Chirpstack v3. We're sure that this will be useful for your IoT projects. You can get more information in the video description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and leave your comments and suggestions in the comments box. See you in the next video. Yeah.